Yeah. So it says state the meaning of the following term. The first one is foreign key. So do you remember foreign key? Foreign key. Yeah. Uh, foreign key is when is the primary key that's stored in another in another uh in another set like record of data. Okay, and what a primary key? Primary key is uh is the key used to uh think read and change data. Okay, primary key basically is a unique identifier, no? Which is used to identify other record in our table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The table, it's yeah. what is used to record data, the, rec the record, um, it's like the database, it's like the database, and then the relational database is when, uh, when it has two, when it has uh, more than one table, and so it, you know, it has more than one record in a table, so you can like uh, identify it with and it, all different sets of data. Okay, and what about record? Record is like a database. Okay, and relation database? I said relation database. Okay, now see its detail. Okay. The first first one is per foreign key, okay? A foreign key is a field in a database table that is used to establish a link between two tables, okay? So it typically yeah. refers to the primary key of another table. Creating a relationship between the two tables, the foreign key in one table is used to match uh, with the primary key and other tables for enforcing referential integrity. Do you know about referential integrity? This one. It, it makes yeah. sure the record is stored in master table must match with the transaction table. Okay. Yeah. okay. Record is stored in parent or master table. must match in transaction table okay yeah so this is called referential integrity i will show uh, another class uh, the definition of referential integrity now see primary key a primary key is a unique identifier for a record in a database table so it must contain unique values and cannot have null value the primary key is used to uniquely identify each record in the table so providing a means for efficient data retrieval and establishing a relationship between them. So this is the complete definition of primary key. You got it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now next is table. In the context of relational database, a table is a collection of data organized into rows and columns. So each row in a table represents a record. And each column represents a field or attribute on that record. So table are fundamental. Uh, component of relation database and are used to store and organize data. Got it? Yeah. Okay. And yes, Uncle. Yeah, one second. Okay. Now, record. Now, see the record. A record, also known as row, is a single entry or instance of data in a database table. So, it contains values for each of the table column, okay, representing a complete set of information about a specific entity or item being stored in the list. So, you understand this definition? Yeah. Okay. Now, next one is relation database. So, a relation database is a type of database that organizes data into table with a predefined structure. It uses a relational database, a relational model where table are related to each other based on common feed. Uh, the relationship are established using primary and foreign key. Uh, the relational database management system ensures data integrity support uh, data retrieval and manipulation through SQL and provide a structured and efficient way to store and manage large volume data. So example of relation database include MySQL, PostgreSQL. These are software in which you can make a database. Okay, one minute. 
Iya. Yeah. Okay. Now see this one. Yeah. So, uh, so they're taking the first name, so so it would get the it would get the Marji Kyle Harry and Sheila. Okay. And this would be from the address book, and it would give them the numbers as well. Very good. This one. Yeah. Okay. It would so, give them the first name and the numbers so it from the address book, which is what the table is called. Your first name and telephone number, okay? Yeah. Now, see, you are right. You can see. Here, you can see the output, okay? So, you got it? Now, write a query to return the first name and email for the last name, Mills. So, can you write query? On chat? Yeah. Okay. Right, I can already return the first name and email for the late last name Mills. Uh, so it would be the the query would be return the first name and email from the last name Mills. So you can so it'd be return. It'd be it'd be return first name, comma. Okay. E email from address book to. Last name Mills. So, how to write query? You have to write query. Return. So, no, select. Yeah, select. select. Okay. First name. First name. Email. Email. A comma email. Yeah. From. So, you will write here from, okay? Yeah. Address book. Address book, good. And? For uh, two, uh, last name Mills. So where? You will write where? 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 Last name Mills. Last name equal? Mills. So it should be in single quote. Okay, it should be like that. Okay. Okay, here you can see. Okay, but you have to write this one in first line, this one in second line, and this one in third line. Okay, with semicolon. Yeah. yeah. One second. Now, see this one. Yeah. Okay, now do right, I return all of the information for the entry with the email sj at home dot bit. So to return of okay, so it would be select. Okay, wait a second. Select. And. Uh, telephone. First name, last name. No, it says all the information. You don't need to write all column, okay? Then you can use static. Okay. You can use static. Static. From. Okay. So and select next line from. Okay, from. Address book. Address book. And then. Where. Where, okay? Where. Email. Email. But email equals. Equal. Uh, 
the code the the what was called yeah sj at home dot vid at the rate at home dot vid home dot dot vid okay you are right yeah return yeah here you can see okay yeah now see next one Without query to return the data of everyone in the address book and sort it into ascending alphabetical order of last name. Okay, so it would be select. Okay, first select. Staric. Staric. Uh, next line from. From. Address book. Okay, address book. Sort. Uh, you will write the word order by. Order by, okay. Order, yeah, okay. Order by last name. Last name. And then you will give the order is like ascending. It is uh, asking about ascending, okay. Yeah, last yes. name ascending. ASC, okay. The keyword is ASC. ASC. Yeah, ASC and semicolon. So here you can see that. Okay, yeah. yeah. Now, here, what do the following SQL command word do? Okay, select is the command where it chooses where to, it chooses uh, what data you need to take, where it's the command that gives a further information. It's an optional command that gives further information for uh for the like which record you want to take okay uh from it's telling you what uh what table you want to take it from insert into it's telling you where you want to put the data into okay so here you can see now go through this one yeah Okay, have you read? Uh, yes. Okay. Should I move next slide? Yeah. Here you can see further. Oh, okay. Set use of shoe data where for to work based on condition. From specifies table or tables to retrieve data, insert to add records to the table. Okay, yeah. Okay. Here, summary. Select used to retrieve data. Where is used to filter rows yeah. and condition. From specify the table or table from which to retrieve data. Select into, insert into is used to add new record to a table. Okay. Yeah. Okay, one second.
ओके नाउ सी दिस वन Yes, sir. Are you are going through? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's like I have name price from sales where supply equal built in. Uh, what would be your return from the queries? Uh, it would be the tray. The tray. Okay. Item name. The column name is item name. Yeah. What's the column name. Yeah, the column name would be the whole column, price from sales to the top because the whole table called sales. Oh, this column and, and then this the column. Okay, these two column will appear. Oh, price. Yeah, yeah. Item so eight, price. The price. The tray for eight pound fifty. It's tray. Okay, and eight fifty. Eight pound fifty. Any other? Any other and then, Uh, no. Because it will be from the sales table, which is called the whole the whole table called sales, from the supplier who called built in. So, so it only one so row. It just, yeah, only one row because built in is the supplier, so it'll only be in the row in so that about, row. So what about this one, last one? Oh wait, oh actually yeah yeah, <laughs> gifts and six pound thirty five. Uh, six pound thirty five. Okay. Okay. Now right. Got it? Yeah. Now select record ID, item name, supplier from sale here. Uh, Where price is I less than one pound. Yeah. So you have to show output. Okay, so. You would first select the record name. Record ID. Okay. And the record the item, uh, item and supplier. Name. Okay, item name. Yeah, and supplier. And supplier. From uh, sales, which is the whole table, where okay. price is less than one pound. So Did can I you go you? back into the last? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you'd select. I'm writing here, okay. Less than one pound. So you do uh for the record ID two thirty one. Two thirty one. Okay. Record ID, okay. item name and supplier. Okay. okay. Record two thirty one fork and Holden. Item name is fork, fork. and Holden. Okay. Yeah, and then Holden. Next column and Holden. Okay, Holden. Okay. Only one row. And then you do. Uh no, two thirty two. Two thirty two. Play okay. Harden again. Okay. Harden the built in. Oh plate, plate. Okay, sorry, plate. Okay. So there is a plate. And harden again. Okay. Yeah. So this one is right. Okay. Yeah. See this one? Again, move to yeah. table. Oh, uh, yeah. What's the question again? Uh, quantity stock grid. Yeah, Select record ID, item name from sales where quantity stock is great. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Move to table. Yeah. Which item is item name or uh, record ID? Okay. Yeah. And item name. So these two column will display. Okay. So 
So what will be the record? So record ID and add to me. The record so is greater than a thousand. So it would be the first one would again be uh two thirty one, and then item name would be fork. Item name is 231, okay? No, record ID 231, item name fork. Fork, oh, okay. Uh, and then the... And then uh, 232 uh, plate. Okay. That's it. And plate, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, wait one second. I put give me one second, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. So it would be so you'd first select the city population from and population. So uh, top of the column would be select a city Wait, and okay. populations, two columns. First column is city. Yeah, and then the next column is population. Okay. City and second is population. Yeah. Okay, then. So uh, the Birmingham, Birmingham. Okay, Birmingham. Yeah. Okay. And population. One thousand one hundred. Eleven hundred. Okay. Okay. It and is. that would be it. Yeah, it is right. There's only one record will display, now. Yeah. Here you can see. Okay, now see here. So city countries from cities where Again. population is greater than 1500. Okay, city, country. Okay. Uh, population greater than 1500. Uh, Paris. Paris. France. France, okay. Barcelona. Barcelona. Spain. Okay. This is the right answer. Now you have to write query. Uh the city, okay, right query to return rights to the city and population for all cities where its currency is zero. So it would be select city. Select city. Comma population. Population. Uh, next line, from cities. From city. City. Okay. Uh, what are they next line? Where yeah. currency currency equals euro, euro. 
semicolon. You're right. Here you can see it. And it will return these two columns. Yeah. These two columns, okay. Uh, okay, so select asterisk. Select static. Okay, next line from cities. From cities. Then. Uh, populate where, populate where. Okay. Population uh, less than 1,000. Semicolon. Good. Here you can see. Now these are questions from your paper, okay? Yeah. Now first go through this one. Yeah. Store information about their members and the award they are given. The database contains two tables, member and award. So, member and award, okay? Member ID, first name, last name, date join, award ID, member ID, date presented, award, award name. So it means member ID is the primary key, okay? Now, hey, this one yeah. is... And this one is foreign key. Got it? So it has one, two, many relationships. Okay? Yeah. Got the idea? Okay. Yeah. So next slide. Define the term relation database. Again, it has come in paper. Yeah. So can you explain? Uh, yeah. Okay. Define the term relational database. Relational database is the, uh, relational database is where records are, no, yeah. Relational database is mo as multiple, it's a single table, multiple tables, where records where where in the table there are multiple records okay. of data containing information and so they can uh that, that are not related to each other okay now see its definition uh, a relation database is a structured collection of data organized into table okay where each table represents an entity and relationship between tables are established using keys that ensure data integrity and support efficient curing through a relational model. Got the idea? This is the pre yeah. relation database. The state one benefit of using a relation database. So do you remember? Yeah. Uh, state one method of using relational database. Uh, you can have multiple sets of data. Multiple sets of data. Yeah. Multiple sets of data. Okay. Any other? Um. Um. Uh, no, I don't remember any else. Okay. Main advantage is data integrity. Do you know? Yesterday we discussed. Data yeah. system, data consistency, and data integrity. Main one benefit of using relation database is the data integrity. Okay. This one. Or data consistency. 
So relation related with enforce rules such as primary and foreign key, ensuring accurate and consistent relationship between table, which help maintain reliability and quality of the stored data. Okay. First, we store data at primary uh, master table, then we store data at transaction table. Got the idea? Yeah. It's called data integrity. It is called data integrity. State the name of the field from the member table that is most suitable to use as a primary key. Yeah. So, should I move backward? Here. Yeah. Which one? Which one? Wait, what? Okay, what's the question? Okay. Wait a second. Question is state the name of the field from member table that is most suitable to use as the primary keys. Okay, yeah. Now, here you can see table. Uh, member ID. Yeah, member ID is the primary key. I told you earlier, okay, do you remember? When I start this question, I told you this is primary key and this is foreign key. Foreign key. But primary key is transferring here, okay? So it makes one to many relationship. One to... When one. Our, okay, when our field is a primary key in own table, and foreign key another table. This is basically one to many relationship. Remember, one to many. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why we call it one to many? Because in own table it can have only one record, but in other table it can have many record record. Here you see the most suitable field name from the member field table you uh, to use as a primary key is likely to mem uh, member ID. The member ID field is uniquely identifying each member and it is a commonly used as a primary key to ensure a unique identifier for each record in the member table. Okay. State the name of the field from the award, ta uh, award table that is foreign key. I told you earlier, right now. Uh, the members ID from the foreign from the award table. So you got the idea? Yeah. So which one is foreign key? The members ID from the foreign table. Yeah. Member ID. Yeah. The same field. The field from the award table that is the foreign key is a member ID. This field in the award table is used to establish a relationship with the member table, specifically referencing the member ID field in the member table. Okay. The foreign key is used to establish a relationship. Okay. Now, see this question. Now go through this question. Okay. These table have shown again. Now see. The youth club need to produce a report listing the member who have been given the leader award. The report must include both name of each member and the date the award was presented. So write an SQL query that could be used to find this information. The result must be in order of the data uh, date the award were presented starting with the earliest. So we select. Okay, wait. I think uh, this one you haven't done in a way. Okay. No, it'll be, it'll be select, uh, select. Uh, names and date. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Select. Names. Name or first name? 
It's first name. First name. First name. Okay. Comma. Last name. Last name. Okay. Then. Date. Date presented. Okay. Date. Yeah. Presented. And then. And then next line. Uh, okay. From. Yeah. From. Member. Uh, yeah. From. No. From awards. From awards. From. Uh, wait a second. Uh, from award. Yeah. And. Yeah. Next line. Where. Where. No, actually, yeah. Uh, where, uh, where presented? Where presented? Leader award. Leader. Yeah. And. Next line. Okay. Order by. Order by. Uh, date. Date. Presented. Presented. Uh, ascending. Ascending. Okay. Not take it. Take, uh, take it. Take screenshot. Take it. Screenshot. Yeah. Now wait a second. I'm going to take it. One, one second. Wait a second. You, did you take a screenshot? No, no, no. Not no. yet. Okay. Okay, no issue. Yes, Uncle? Yeah, wait. One second, wait. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm showing you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now see, they have given four answers, okay? The first one, this one, select first name, last name, date presented, from member, comma, what, two table, where member dot member ID, okay? Where yeah. member dot member ID, equal award dot member ID, okay? So, yeah. from member, Primary key is going to an award as a foreign key. So, so you have to write both table name. Then you have to write and award name is leader in single quotation. Okay. So order by date. Yeah. So your answer quite right, but only here uh, you have to uh, you have to settle primary key joining. You have to show joining. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So I need to do primary and uh yeah. secondary key joining, yeah, the yeah. foreign key joining, I mean. Yeah, member and is the, 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 I need to add the member table. Okay, this one. Okay. This is primary key and award is the another table and here member ID as a foreign key, okay? So you have to do this one, okay? I think rest don't need to discuss, so it will make a confusion, but it's this is the better way, okay? Got that answer? Yeah. Wait a second. Now see this one. So yesterday we discussed insert into, do you remember? Yeah. Play the actual that I have written in place of the labels. A and B. Member, and so A equals member. Member, one second. So here I will write member, okay? Member. Mm -hmm. Then. Um. I don't know. Here you we will mention field, okay? Field name. Because uh, there. Okay, we'll but this is field member ID, this is first name, this is last name, this is telephone, okay? So according to that, we have to mention field name. Member ID, okay, comma, first name. Okay, first name, comma, last name, last name, comma, comma date, date. Date, date, date join, okay? Date. Yeah. Given in the video. And here, what about this one? I don't know. Values. Do you remember? Values. And then rest. Oh, no. Got it? Yeah. Now see this one. Okay. You got it? Yes, I will. Move to next slide. Yeah. Now see this one. Read this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but it. Okay, have you read? Yeah. Now see this one. These two tables are given. Yeah. Okay. Which one is the primary key? Um, name. 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 How? Okay. Okay, you are right. The primary key would be name in the first table. Foreign key would be name in the second table. Good. Now see, 
said the field in booking table that is the foreign key name okay good and this one hmm can you go back to the table Game table ID. So, what would be data uh, data type? Oh, data type numbers. Binary. This one, okay. Complexity field. It is asking about complexity field, okay. So, what yeah. would you get a type? You said number. Yeah. Okay. Real or float or decimal. Oh. Uh, okay. Now, got it. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Again, now. Okay. Now, go through this data. Okay, so select one second. Uh, select wait, wait, wait. So it can be select, okay. Then customer, customer, date, date, time, a booking time, okay, time. Okay, and okay. then next line from okay. game, game equals no, member. I equal table. Uh, okay, only game. Okay, from game. Related. Okay, next line where where Uh, game table. Game table. No, where uh, ID. Which which ID? Uh, get uh. Can you go back to the table? Okay, wait one second. Yeah. Got it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where? Game table ID. Game. Where is ID? ID is not, not there. Yeah, it is. Uh, the manager needs to find out the customer data and type Absolute date and time of all bookings. Yeah. Made for a game table with an ID with a two. No, basically you have to join using a primary key and foreign key. So don't you need but two tables then? Game and member. Yeah. Yeah, game and uh, Here booking. you have to write member, okay? Yeah. Sorry, not member. Booking, booking. Booking, 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 booking. And then... So game, game, name, ID... There is no ID. Okay, game name game equals dot name. name dot name. Okay, game, game dot name. Okay, then equals uh name equals bookings dot name. Dot name. Okay. Okay. Now let me know where is primary key. Where primary is key. Booking or 
game okay game 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 okay okay then and then uh order order by order by order by date date okay asc uh no there is no date okay asc okay semicolon anything you are missing uh Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So now we need to see final answer. Now see this one. Here it. Not this one, you have missed this one. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Next player, maximum player greater than equal to four and game table ID equal to two. Yeah. Okay, now last one. See this one? Yeah. Okay. So what is the error? Uh, uh, select. You have to find out error. Only. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the one error is where it says up. Where it says set. Where? Set. No, set is a keyword. Okay. Is a keyword. Mm -hmm. Actually, you have to see the data. See data. What they have shown? Update game. Okay. Then yeah. that uh, length of game equal length of game. This one. Yeah. Equal length of game plus nine plus ten plus ten okay it's supposed to be plus ten okay good how did you know that because it says it says add ten minutes of time taken yeah time taken start time and okay then uh where uh, complexity Less than three equal to three. Well, less than three or equal to three. Okay, so uh second error, okay. First error you have identified. Can you okay, can you go back onto the question? On yeah. the table? Okay. Oh, it should be more than three. More than three, good. Yeah. Greater than three. Okay. Yeah. So your one topic is finished, database. Okay. Now you have become some okay. expert of database. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So see you next class. Yeah. See you next class. Jazakallah. Peace.